It surrounds us, binds us together, and encourages us to live. Nature surrounds us. Or sometimes we surround it. However, in such a close relationship, mankind and nature always can't get along. Especially in the small mountain town of Esses Park, Colorado, where creatures such as elk are always invading mankind's space. However, there is a refuge. A place where mankind and nature can coexist in harmony, can both live out their lives without causing a constant feud. That place is the golf course. The golf course is a place of refuge and peace for people all over the world, but a home and sanctuary to all walks of nature. A place full of wildlife and plants. According to the USGA, the United States Golf Association, golf courses are great for our ecosystem, providing homes and refuges for wildlife providing open space far from the grasp of society. More than 70% of most golf courses are rough and non-play areas, including natural grasses, trees, and shrubs, places where humans are not allowed to go. Combined with the open areas of fairways and greens, the golf course is an attractive wildlife habitat. The USGA and the Audubon Society of New York State have developed the Audubon Cooperative Sanctuary Program for golf courses. This program enhances wildlife habitat on and around the golf course. The small town of Estes Park is home to two golf courses, the 18-hole and the 9-hole golf course. Both of these golf courses are rich with wildlife overflowing with nature. Both courses uh, are, are loaded with different wildlife. We have many species of birds, uh, eagles, hawks, owls, um, elk is probably our biggest um, biggest herds of elk we have in town are usually at both courses. Throughout the, the year, with the exception of July and August, they usually are off in the mountains, but they do come back for the rut and during the calving season in May. So both courses uh, have uh, lots of deer. Uh, we do have um, many ground animals, rabbits, badgers, coyotes, the occasional bears come through the course uh, quite often, especially this last summer, weasels. Just lots of different, we have a marmot actually on the course that uh, is uh, pretty unusual for being down here and we have a, a big flock of wild turkeys, which is kind of new this year. Wild turkeys are an extreme rarity on the golf course. They have never been seen on the 18 hole in over three decades. But now, a large flock flourishes on the fairway. But turkeys are not the only large birds that make a home on the golf course. Large birds of prey, like a red-tailed hawk, perch on the tops of the tallest trees, scouting out their kingdom. We have to be very careful with the elk population. During the calving season, there's lots of times at the nine-hole golf course, they like to calve by the river. 
and we do have to shut off the course to protect the golfers and to not disturb the, the young calf and the mother. And um, here at the 18 hole, we're very concerned about the, the fall rut, which is just wrapping up, and the bulls get a little bit anxious with people around them, so we have to kind of manage both. Um, we're, we're always trying to protect the elk. Um, you know, if, if elk attack people, the wildlife division usually puts that animal down. So we try to keep, keep them apart as much as possible so that we're not injuring people or injuring elk. Um, we do have to move them off in the mornings to get the course open, and our maintenance staff does a careful job of, of getting the elk to exit the course safely. And if we do, we plant, uh, we put up bird houses. Um, we've recently put up some owl homes and uh, to attract them, to kind of help take care of some of the, the pests on the ground, some of the gophers and, and voles. We've got several of those. And so that's how we take care of those naturally. We just I think it's just been a, a good relationship for the golf courses and the wildlife and the people. It, it runs pretty well with that. Golf courses all around the country are constantly trying to make their golf courses more friendly to the nature that surrounds them. The Audubon Society is always setting up bird sanctuaries, while other golf courses are constantly fencing off zones for wildlife rehabilitation. At the Lake Estes Nine Hole Golf Course, wild animals such as these Canadian geese roam freely near the river. The wide open spaces helps them notice predators a lot easier and a location close to the river makes it easy to escape and find food. However, there are many concerns about the use of fertilizers on golf courses and the negative effects that they may have. I think that's a misconception. Um, you know, golf, when you look at all the fertilizer that's being used in the agricultural or horticultural industry, golf courses are a very small part of that. Um, you know, farmers and even um, homeowners use um, more fertilizer than all the golf courses so um but you know in that knowing that any you know if fertilizers are used properly um they do not harm the environment it just depends on the users and how they're using it and um but for the most part you know a responsible golf course superintendent will not be harming the environment with the fertilizer Another concern is that golf courses use harmful poisons or traps to kill vermin and harmful pests on the golf course. At Estes Park Golf Course as well as Lake Estes Golf Course, we um, are lucky enough to have a diverse um, animal population such as coyotes, hawks, eagles, um, badgers, which all of those animals help um, deter the rodent population. Um, we did build and install um, owl habitat and put them up in trees to encourage the owls to nest and um, owls are known to eat a couple hundred pounds of bulls um, every year. Um, so we do not use any poisons here. There are other concerns and sources that say golf courses waste their water. To maintain lush fairways and greens. Lots of water must be used to keep them green and growing. Yeah, golf courses, um, as well as anyone managing turf or any other type of agriculture can waste water. Um, there are irresponsible users of water, whether it's homeowners or farmers or what have you, um, but at the Estes Park Golf Courses, we pride ourselves on, on being um, very miserly with the water. The nine hole irrigation system has been updated and um, gives us great control over the water we use. Um, we will be 
updating the 18 hole irrigation soon, um, which would also allow us to be more efficient with our water. Um, we also use wetting agents um, and soil amendments and these practices um, basically allow the water to infiltrate better as opposed to run off the surface. So, um, you know, those practices help us be as efficient as possible with the water. Golf courses are known to be um, a big benefit to the environment. Um, again, you know, the, the wide open spaces, um, they attract a, a, a diverse group of wildlife. Um, also, you know, large acreage of turf is actually very good for the environment. Um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a filter for a lot of sediments. Um, which it captures a lot of sediments before it gets into the ground into the streams or rivers um, It acts as a filter to not allow a lot of um, contaminants into the groundwater um, It's an impervious surface so you know a lot of um, parking structures um, rooftops stuff like that is uh, causes runoff where golf courses if you know we have a hundred acres of turf out here um, which cuts down on runoff and uh, and actually cuts down on flooding um, the turf the large acreage of turf keeps dust down keeps pollen down um, has a cooling effect um, so there, there's a lot of reasons why golf courses are looked at it as being a benefit for the environment many people, golf courses offer themselves as a retreat from the daily stress we experience every day. To others, an oasis in the concrete jungle. But to everyone, it is a paradise where both man and wilderness can coexist in peace. No traffic jams, no pollution. A place where friends and family can come together and enjoy themselves while not having to worry about getting lost in the forest or being attacked by a wild creature. It is just a, an oasis where animals can live freely, where nature can grow itself fruitfully, and where humans can experience all of it in peace. Thank <laughs> you.